What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saray Karen and for today's video I wanted to give you guys an updated look at my gaming and streaming setup. I made one of these videos a while ago on my channel, probably in 2017 or 2018, and everything just about has been updated. Well, I wouldn't say everything, but a lot of things in my streaming and gaming setup have been updated, so I just wanted to give you guys a new look and see what I'm using to make videos, um, and a few things have stayed the same, so I thought I would just show you guys how I stream and how I film my videos to get out, put, to put out for you guys. So in my previous video, I did not have a gaming PC, but in this video I do. I got an NZX the starter PC but the starter PC plus the biggest difference between that and the regular starter PC is that it's an updated graphics card and then you get a hundred I'm sorry you get one terabyte of storage instead of 512 gigabytes of storage so yeah that is the biggest difference between the two and the price point on the NZXT starter PC is $899 versus the one that I got the starter PC plus is $999 so that is one of the differences from my streaming setup from the past until now Another thing that I updated is my microphone. Uh, I, I definitely think that my microphone sounds a lot clearer than it did in the past. I went with an Audio Technica AT2035. Um, this mic to me sounds much better than the newer microphone that I was using before. That microphone was just an entry level mic, but this one, the sound is much better and I also use a different interface compared to what I used before. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below if I'm talking too fast like I normally do. I'm just trying to get you guys all the information um, in case you wanted to get any of these items. I will also leave all of the links in the description. But yeah, I also used to use my uh, Astro A40 headphones, but now when I'm streaming or now when I'm doing any type of gameplay, I use these Audio Technica headphones. These Astro headphones, I believe, were 120 or like 140. Don't quote me. Like I said, everything will be left down in the description. But these headphones were like $50 on Amazon. And to me, listening for like if someone is coming in the door behind me or if someone is like I hear them running on the left, to me, these $50 headphones sound much better. But I believe it is. I believe it's because it's paired up with this microphone. So I would definitely say if you guys have in a set of Astro headphones, put them to the side and give these like $50 headphones a try. I mean, what can you lose? You can always return them if you don't like them. But yeah, I also updated. I normally wear my normal glasses um, when I'm doing gameplay, but this is a new addition as well. I use these um, blue light blocking glasses when I'm playing. Um, it does make things look a little, a little better if I'm playing at night or if I'm playing for a long period of time. Um, my glasses, my eyes will start to get tired, things like that. Something as simple as getting these blue light blocking glasses, um, they definitely help. So I would say if you guys have any strain on your eyes or if you wear glasses like myself, but you can still see without your glasses, you should definitely check these out. In my last video, I was playing on Xbox, I believe. In this video, I have a PS4 Pro, so I also have the Scuf Vantage controller. Um, I love this controller. Back when I was on Xbox, I had my Elite controller and I did not use it to its full capabilities like I am doing with this Scuf controller. Uh, this is the Scuf Vantage controller. If you guys, like I said, everything will be linked down below. Um, with the paddles on the back, these paddles, oh, you can see behind me something changed, but these paddles are great. I love, I map my paddles to jump or slide since I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty and it's just so much better than taking your hand off to like taking your hand off the trigger or moving your hand when you can just have everything back in the paddles so i would definitely say if you guys have the extra money to spend you should definitely look into getting a scuff controller or if you have an xbox you should look into getting an elite controller because once you get past the learning stage it's so much fun um, to be able to jump with the paddles versus having to jump with what is it either triangle or square i don't even remember 
because I haven't used those to jump in so long. But yeah, this is an update that I didn't have before in my previous video. Some of the things that stayed the same in the video are going to be my monitor. I did go to two monitors, but I only have, this is an actual gaming PC monitor. Um, again, everything is linked down below. Uh, this is a 4K Samsung monitor. I think I am thinking about upgrading this because this is only uh, 60 hertz, and I do wanna maybe bump that up to like 240, but that's not, super important to me right now. Everything is getting the job done as is. I also added a second monitor. I tried to actually get a gaming monitor or a PC monitor to add as my second one, but because of COVID, everything was sold out. It was crazy. Like I couldn't get anything on Amazon. I couldn't get anything on Best Buy, just nowhere. So I ended up getting a really tiny, tiny, tiny 24 inch Insignia TV. And all it does, I run my, um, I extend the display from the PC to this monitor and I I don't really do anything on it other than looking at my game capture so yeah I didn't really need a crazy uh, extra monitor for that. I am currently using the Logitech C920 webcam. Uh, it's right there. You guys can see it. Uh, this webcam, it works fine, but for me, some re for some reason, I can't get the lighting and like my, the space that I'm in for streaming or like doing gameplay. I can't get the lighting just right, but I see other people that use it and there, the quality is much better for them. So I feel like that might just be user error and I'll need to update that and like play with the settings on my own. But this is the same webcam that I used from before um, or also I could use my Canon 80D um, for any type of gameplay or like face cam so those two things are the same to capture my gameplay I'm still using the Elgato Capture 60S uh, that has worked perfectly for me the only issue that I'm running into is the software it definitely it fails a lot so I have to uninstall install I didn't have any I didn't have as many problems before as I do now but that's currently what I'm using to capture the gameplay and when I want to switch between screens I also got an HDMI switcher that is super 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 helpful um, if your computer like this NZXT it doesn't come with that many HDMI inputs so I got an HDMI switcher and I can just switch through channels it allows me to have four channels and I can switch between them so I can have my computer and I can also have my gameplay looking at both of them at the same time uh, if that doesn't make any sense I'm sorry that's the best way that I can explain it and if you guys want me to do a setup video of how I get my console connected to my PC um, and connected to my capture card definitely leave me a comment below uh, I hope this video isn't all over the place uh, I'm sorry if it is I was trying to get all the information in the video for you guys really quickly um, I know when you start talking about all these different components it gets kind of boring but I definitely wanted to bring you guys an updated video because I am not streaming on the same setup that I used to and I thought it would be cool for you guys to see that you do not have to break the bank like some of these huge streamers and content creators. I would say everything over the years since I started all of this in 2017, I would say all of this probably costs about, I want to say maybe $3,000, like $3,500. Um, somewhere around there but in the grand scheme of things there are some uh, gaming PCs that are $10,000 so this is not really expensive um, it's definitely something that you know you can do if you save up your money so I just want to show you guys that this is what I'm using and I'm trying to put out content more regularly for you guys and yeah if you have any questions definitely drop a comment below please 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 guys like this video it does help me a lot it lets me know that you guys like these types of videos or you don't like these types of videos. a lot of you guys watch these videos and you are not subscribed so please it takes nothing to hit that subscribe button um, join the family I love making gaming videos I love making vlogs um, I might look I might do a little bit of you know unboxings in the near future I don't know but definitely um, follow the channel turn those notifications on do all the YouTube things I really really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one